school everyone liked the same bands or if the same football team if you like something different or you didn't fit the trend you weren't cool as you got older you learned to be braver and groups would form that liked alternative bands or didn't even care for football but that feeling of having to conform and that fear of not conforming even more the fear that things are different is what i would call stigma In the 20th century, we've gone from big Victorian jails to care in the community. It's only 20, 30 years ago that exorcisms were being carried out as mental health conditions were being misinterpreted as demons. A few years ago, Thorpe Park, one of the biggest theme parks in the UK, had a terrifying Halloween maze based on a mental health asylum. Can you imagine it? being led through rooms to make look like this old Victorian building, but looked more like a prison. Actors jumping out, screaming with contorted faces, blood. Of course, mental health signs weren't quite like that, but the point is that horror mazes, media, mental health has this perception. It's not surprising that people want to bury their symptoms rather than ask for help. Yet statistics show that people with mental health issues are more likely to be a victim of violence rather than be violent themselves. stigma. People scared to ask for help because of the image that mental health has and therefore how people will treat you. It's very easy to say, oh I don't care, particularly me as a panto dame, but I do. Stigma is more than caring about what people think though. It's illegal to be treated differently because of your mental health, yet it happens far more than it should. People in the workplace with stress or depression can sometimes be made to feel like damaged goods. One in four of us will have a mental health issue this year. If you're male in the UK, age 35 or less, you're more likely to kill yourself than die by cancer, car accidents or even murder. The best way to combat stigma is to talk about mental health, remembering that the vast majority of people with issues are functioning members of the public, with the right support and therapy and medication, and will continue to be. We must all be brave and stand up to stigma and anything that feeds it. In 2013, Asda and Tesco, major UK supermarkets, sold Halloween costumes which just increased the stigma around mental health. Tesco offered a bright orange jumpsuit called Psycho Ward. Whilst Asda went for the mad professor look. Alistair Campbell, a political aide to Tony Blair at the time said, something like this comes along and it just reminds you that we are basically in the dark ages. Earlier this year, Amazon was selling a t-shirt with suicide watch printed on it. A stick figure watching another stick figure with a noose around its neck. Whether you are directly affected by mental health issue or you know or support someone who has, we all have to fight stigma and bang the drum of change. Banging the drum of change. Let's, uh, remember that theme, we'll pick it up in the next video. Meanwhile, that's it for this week. Thank you for watching. I'm Matt Strawley. Um, why don't you check out last week's video in which I just spoke about trigger warnings. It wasn't last week, it was week four. Anyway, um, the software I'm using for this is a software called OpenView or Big View, I'm not too sure. What do you think? Is it any good? It teleprompts go up on the screen and records using the front camera so I can actually script what I'm going to say and not gibber like this. You tell us it's off script, can't you? Give me a big thumbs up if you like. If you want to give me a thumbs down, that's fine too. Leave a comment down below. What do you think? Have I forgotten about a key element of stigma? Is there more that we could do to fight stigma? In fact, that's coming up in the next video as well. Time to Change is a campaign led by Mind and Rethink, the mental health charities here in the UK. I'm proud to be a Time to Change champion. They've currently got a survey 
um, out at the moment in which they're trying to measure how people have been affected by stigma, those with mental health. Or even if you just know someone who's been affected by mental health, perhaps you can answer the survey and give your opinion. Sometimes if you have a mental health problem, you're, you don't always see the stigma until someone else points out. You don't realise how unreasonable things are. They wouldn't treat you like that if you had a broken leg, for instance. Details are all in the doobly-doo. It'll be great to have a conversation with you via Twitter and via the comments below. If you'd prefer to read this, this is going to be available as an article, either on my blog or the Huffington Post. So have a read. I'm Matt Storley. Check out my blog, mattstroyley.uk. comes out every Wednesday. Meanwhile, thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>